What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris, back with you guys with another cool video. This time we're stepping over to Jupiter, okay? And of course, you've got the Juno um, orbiter taking photos, awesome photos of Jupiter, um, HD, in fact. And, um, and of course, it's going into the upper atmosphere and taking photos and everything else. What I find pretty odd or pretty cool at the same time, first of all, they're just awesome uh, photos. If you guys have, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen videos on them, so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to show you guys, which is what's pretty cool here. What you can do is you can go to right here, and I'm going to give you guys, you guys will get all the links to everything I show. You guys know that. And this, is, of course, is Image Processing Gallery. And what it has, and you can see Juno Cam, Public, and both. Um, what it is is like raw photos. And, of course, you can just click on any one of these. And then it has feature submissions. What that means is people who have actually enhanced them themselves actually turn them into NASA JPL and, you know, of course, the Juno team and everything else. And, of course, you can go down here, most recent from the public, and you can see they take it from raw photos. Now, some people, what they do is they take different photos, stitch them together, and then someone even stepped further. What they'd done was they actually made videos. I'm going to show you them right now. So, again, I'll give you this uh, this page here so you guys can check out okay so this gentleman here gerald itchstad and i'm not sure my apologies if i'm butchering your last name i don't mean to um he's done a video right here okay and of course he, he tells you right here and everything you need to know um it says uh this computer animation uses the juno cam images of the and of course it tells you textures of spice uh, you know of spice and i forgot exactly what that stands for but trajectory data in order to construct a flyby as seen from juno's perspective um and it says for each still f image the the according raw juno cam image was taken or i should say been used directly to reconstruct jupiter's appearance from the respective trajectory okay now, right here, you can see that the movie consists of 2,700, 2,703 still frames uh, reconstructed, and it tells you different uh, numbers of these. Uh, brightness, flickering, and other brightness changes in the movie are processing artifacts. And I'm going to show you what that means, because basically, as the photos, um, as the video is running, I'm, I'm sorry, as it's running, you'll see it, like, change, like, because it's going to different images. So you're going to see it, like, get brighter and sometimes a little darker, and you'll see it, like, kind of, like, jerk, and then go to the different set of images. But there's one thing I hear I want to show you guys, or I should say several things, several things, um, that is in this video, and that is another gentleman who does it too. He later, named Sean Duran, he literally takes this uh, video, or the I don't know if he took has taken Gerald's, I believe he has, because you can see right here, he's got NASA and, of course, MSSS, and Gerald uh, Etchdad, and, of course, you've got Sean or Sion, depending on, because you got that little comma there, uh, Duran. Now... He's further enhanced it and brightened it. Well, when he brightened it, this is what made the difference. Now, let me show you the first one. This was Gerald's, and I'm going to go ahead and just jump into it. And you're going to see right here, in fact, let me set this up for you guys so you guys know exactly what to look for. Uh, this right here, you can see this. You're going to see these one, two, three, four, five, and I believe there's a sixth, okay? They're literally twinkling on the planet. You'll see them blinking away, just blink, 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 blink. And then you get one here. And guys, this is almost impossible. This is a screenshot while this thing was running. I'd hardly try to pause it and snag this, okay? What you'll see is there's one here, and then there's another one over here twinkling, and they alternate. They twinkle back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then you've got this red one on the bottom here, which you'll see it blink, 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 blink. Funny part about it is they all follow the planet. They're not random. Like, in other words, like this one's hopping over here and then down here. Uh, this one over here is hopping from here to here to here. In other words, it's not like you would think super bad processing uh, artifacts. Now, again, you guys got to get the last A. It's either artifacts or there's something bizarre going on here on Jupiter, either on the planet and above the surface of the planet, maybe just in its outer atmosphere. I'm okay with either way. I just want to show you this because I thought this was wild, okay? Again, you're going to see these. These are on the planet, I believe. Now, people will argue the point. This is what's funny. Check this out. They're going to argue point. Oh, well, you don't understand. Now, here's some fun facts about Jupiter. And if you guys want to use this page because you've got Mars, Earth, Jupiter, Uranus, Mercury, so on and so forth right down the list, black hole uh, facts and all this other stuff, okay? So Jupiter is what we're concentrating on. 
Now, I got all of these here. You know, of course, there's much more information about this, but Jupiter's interior is made of rock, metal, and hydrogen compounds. Below Jupiter's massive atmosphere, which is made primarily of hydrogen, there are layers of compressed hydrogen gas, liquid metallic hydrogen, and a core of ice, rock, and metal. No, metals. Okay, if there's a core, there's a surface. There has to be an outer part of that core. There's a surface in there one way or the other. Now, if, and this is a huge if, of course, because I'm doing nothing more than speculating, if these lights are there at all, is it possible they're like a sky city? They're like hovering in the air. And then, because I'll tell you what, when you see this video, you guys are going to be like, well, that's kind of bizarre, because it looks like if you could go out in space here of Earth and then back way off, you'll see like, let's say, it, I don't know, I'm going to throw in at like 2, 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning, and you'll see like lighted cities, not fully lit, but you'll see them. And then you see, if you could see them, you see the satellites blinking, the ones that are geostationary orbit, the ones that have stay above certain land masses like North America, South America, the UK, Russia. So they got their own geostationary for GPS purposes, satellite TV and radio, so on and so forth, military satellites. It's almost like if you could back way up, you'll see like the lights on the, on the planet and you'll see things that are hovering above those particular areas. And that's what's crazy. Now... We use the resource, uh, resources here, of course, we live on the surface of this planet, but we use the oxygen, the water, uh, oils, you know, anything that's, uh, you know, any kind of gases, whether it be propane, natural gas, and of course, it's all derivatives of like different oils. And so we use the resources of this planet. Why would it be any different if there was other humanoids, other creatures living on Jupiter? They could be doing the same thing using its resources. And, you know, people make the mistake. They think, well, it's impossible because it has... You know, like hydrogen. Who, who the hell's going to breathe that? Well, uh, you know, just because we automatically assume. See, that's a mistake we make. We make the assumption that just because we breathe oxygen, everything else in the universe should do the same. Or if we show structures on different planets. Oh, those are not structures. That's absolutely nothing. Well, we automatically, again, the assumption is they're going to look just like our structures. Why? You're going to build a structure according to your, your, uh, your surroundings. Your, you know, the, the planet itself and the weather and so on and so forth. They're going to build according to it. Uh, this is the reason why a lot of the native Indians, they built into sides of mountains. Uh, uh, you know, like the Pueblos and stuff like that. Now, let's get on with it. I don't want to take too long in this video. Um, so we got this right here. I'm going to go ahead and run this for you guys real quick. And right here is what they start. Okay. Now watch carefully. See them? One here, and you can see them just one here. You can see this right here. Watch this. Okay, this is 52, and it goes right around 57 to about right there. I want you guys to take note, too. I don't know if it's going to show it on this one. I don't think I see it, but right here, and you'll see a couple of them here. Now, you don't see it very good. You're going to go, I don't see anything, man. Well, you probably won't. You're not going to see anything real clear. However, when this gentleman here, Sean or Sion, whatever his name is, uh, Duran, I'm going to call him Sean, um, and of course he gives credit for NASA and M uh, SSS and Gerald, and then of course himself, because what he did was he took the, took what, I guess what he had done, and then he enhanced it further and made it brighter. This is where it gets awesome. Now I'm going to jump to the video, because I downloaded here, you can, right here, lower right, you can download this for yourself and check it out. Okay, so now here we are, now right in this right corner, you're going to start to see this, okay, you're going to start to see this one flickering, and then you're going to see the, the new set of stills uh, pop up. So you're going to see it actually shift. Watch. And then I'm going to play this back for you guys. Right here. See it right here? Right there. Okay, now right there. See them all? you got two right here actually blinking in sequence. Right there, right there. See them? Then you've got a red one blinking. Now it just, now it just changed again. It shifted again. But see these? Here, here. They're literally following the planet. The speed and all, they're following it all. Play it back. I'm going to let you guys see this yourselves. Here and here, they're actually twinkling back and forth. Right here. These are twinkling, and they're sitting on the planet. They're not moving. Now, I want to show you guys right here at this top. See these, right, these, these round circles? I don't know if you can see that. Let's we'll take a look at these. Okay, now these appear in the upper left corner. One, two, three. I thought, look at this, four, five, and they literally go all around. And the first thing I thought of was like, well, maybe it's like some kind of 
you know, this satellite link up around the whole planet? Well, somebody already asked that question. And those are what he said were artifacts. And you can see as I'm going to put it in motion, they don't change, guys. They don't twinkle. They don't do anything. Watch. They're stills. They stay there. They don't move. See them? And you can see them over here on the, on the right side, right there. They don't change. They stay right in place. They don't twinkle. They don't do any of that. However, these do. See that? Right here. The two of them are twinkling. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try to get up right here. These two right here. Look at them blinking. Here. There's one over here. And this red one down here is moving upward. Right there. And you can see the red one right there coming in. It's moving along. What is that? Tell me, guys. Is this nothing more than artifacts? And I'm okay with that if you think that's what it is. It doesn't appear to be artifacts to me. You know, this is this is weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage you guys to actually take this and go, go down to this guy Sean's page and grab it. Download it yourself and just eyeball this thing. And it's right about, at least on mine, it's right around uh, a little bit longer. It's about mm, 129, I believe it is. And you can see this one here just coming into play. Okay, right there. Twinkled, and all of a sudden it jumps, and there you are. One, two. You're going to see the red one down here. See it right there? Just moving along. They're all moving with the planet. Is it possible that these are much more than artifacts? Because it's brained up now, there's another one right here. You can see these things just kind of right there. It's moving along. There's another. There's a couple red ones. Is it nothing more than artifacts, or is there much more to it going on? You guys be the judge. I'm going to let you guys be the judge on this. To me, it could work either way, man. It could be either one. It almost seems, like I said, it almost seems like there's a satellite, like, in orbit over, like, like a city, multiple cities. These might be, like, multiple cities. They're not just, like, one light, because clearly that would, they'd have to be super huge, one light, um, on this planet, because this, this planet's huge. So, and again, these appear in the upper left. One, two, three, four, five. And I think there's another one right here. You can see six. They don't move. None of these move. And you can see that after you see these lights, we're going to play it again. And you'll see that, oh, let's see if we can hit it again. Right there. And then you can start to see these one here up at the top. One, two, three, four. And there's a fifth right here be behind here. Watch this. They don't twinkle. They don't move. They don't do any of that. See it? They sit there. These are artifacts is what the guy, a guy actually asked a question. What are those round things that seem to be all in a row? Those are nothing more than artifacts. Okay, if that's true, then what are these? But keep in mind, he had the Docker video. He didn't have the lighter one like this guy Sean did. He actually enhanced it further. And suddenly, you can see these things a lot better. And look at that. Again, one here. One, two. One, two. They're following the planet. And here's the red one. I want to show you that, guys, again. You'll see the red one. Right there. They appear to be following the planet. Like they're like geostationary locked around this planet. What do you guys think? Is it nothing more than the just artifacts? And I'm going to go ahead and just let this thing play on. You guys tell me what you think it is. Uh, to me, it's a 50-50 thing. Um, no matter what it may be, look at this. Twinkling, twinkling, twinkling. See it? It's kind of going and staying in place. And it's going along with the planet. There's another here. Now, you guys tell me, because this thing's still running, and you don't see any kind of twinkling right now. It's still running. Nothing. Now, is it possible it is? I'm going to say it's a 50-50 thing. It could be either or. And you know what? I'd be happy with either one. So, in other words, I'm not pushing the idea to this alien thing going on on the planet, but I'm not dismissing it either. So, I want you guys to give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. And um, that's it, man. Share the video. Give me a thumbs up. Always appreciated. Uh, you guys can subscribe again. I uh, appreciate that. Hit the little bell there on the right-hand side. You'll get all the updates from uh, any videos that I put out. You'll, get, you'll be uh, updated on them. And uh, there you go. There it is right there. Again, Sean's. This is the one I downloaded from. You can do it right here, lower right. And, of course, Gerald uh, Itchstad. Again, if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope. If not, you'll get the videos from there so you can get all the information. Don't want to leave anybody out. Give full credit to these gentlemen here. I did not do these. They did them. Not me. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I will see you in the next video.